Hello everybody, it is Pixel, and tonight we are going to be making spicy tomato and garlic gnocchi. And for that, we're going to need our butter, our freshly ground Parmesan cheese, garlic, two cans of tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, our gnocchi, our salt, our pepper, our red pepper, one cup of chicken broth, and one cup of dry white wine. Hopefully not all that complicated. Uh, you know the drill. Let's get going. First off, I'm going to start cooking our pasta. It won't take too long. Got our boiling water already done. Other than the pasta is to add our olive oil into our pan, and it wants it to be cold. Going to add in our garlic while it's still cold. And last but not least, we're going to add in our red pepper flakes. we'll be back when that sizzles for a little bit. And once our garlic is getting browned up, we are going to be adding in our wine. And our chicken broth. Alright, once that is about half the liquid that was originally in there, we're going to add in our tomatoes. And get that back to a nice rolling boil for about 3-5 to five minutes. Okay, this one has cooked down for a good five minutes, and I'm going to be getting my blender and pouring it in and doing the last steps we need before dinner's ready. Okay, our sauce is in the blender. We're going to be adding in our now room temperature butter. And we're going to sprinkle in our Parmesan cheese and go blend it before it starts melting too much. And our sauce for our dinner will be all ready. Our dish is done. It's time to taste it like to thank the copycat recipes for the Olive Garden for this lovely recipe. We'll take a spoon, drag in a little bit of everything, give it a good taste. This is really amazing. I don't think I've ever ordered it. I'm not even sure they make it anymore. I honestly just really like the flavor. It almost tastes like a really good soup with the pasta in it. I know a little swirl of Parmesan on top made it. And I taste some of the spice, but not a lot, so I would definitely put a couple more red pepper flakes next time, just as either garnish or maybe in it when I make the sauce. It has a really well-balanced flavor, though, and the pasta is perfect for what it is. Although I'm sure you could probably put it with angel hair, or even as lasagna sauce, or anything else. Alright, well, if you have any opinions, like what you saw, ate this before, or made it before. Leave me a comment about it, leave me a like, share it out, and I'll see you in the next video. Laters!